All right, gonna work on the old truck again today. It's uh, around uh, February 16th, and uh, the snow's starting to melt. It's uh, about 50 degrees out here, so that ain't too bad. But anyway, like I say, uh, we're gonna work on a truck today, and uh, let me show you what we're gonna do. I bought some seat belts to put in here, and this truck originally didn't have any seat belts. It's a 64, and uh, you know they didn't they didn't do stuff like that back then. I think maybe it wasn't until '68 they uh, they were mandatory. And then they came out with the three point uh, seats and stuff. But if you did have them back the, back in this day, it only would have been a, a a lap belt. But I think around '62 is when they started making provisions for them. And uh, it's funny because this truck actually has the holes in here. I got a, a 7 16 bolt in here. I pulled the rug and the, and the sound deadening back and I got a, a 7 16 bolt in here and there's a hole there. And it was actually, like I say, that they were, provisions were made for that. It actually had a rubber uh, bunk in there, you know, a rubber plug, you know, to keep water out and stuff like that. So I took that out and uh, I could actually just put that that center belt right in them holes there so that'll be nice and then I bought a set of belts a, a, a newer type set and uh, they're three point so I'm gonna have to hook them into the side here and I think I might go like right about here that way it'll go through this outside metal which is just tack welded onto this door post and then put a a uh, piece behind there, a metal reinforcing piece. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to do that today. But the uh, first thing we're going to do is uh, well, let's uh, see what we can do about putting putting these uh, center center ones in here. That, that'll be easy. Like I said, that's it's a seven sixteenths holder. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. And uh, let me show you what we're going to do. Let's go inside. I'll show you the belts. The belts are in pretty good shape. They, uh, I like them. So uh, let's go inside. I'll see you in there. I forgot to mention, uh, where them holes are at, it's just not sheet metal. It's uh, reinforced down there. You can actually see right here, this is, this is where the, the rear seat slide goes in, you know, the seat uh, mechanism. It bolts in here and, and it's reinforced in the bottom there and over here it's reinforced. So. It's like I say, it's it's designed for seat belts. It's not just something I'm uh, pretending to to be safe and stuff. It, it will actually be safe. So let's go inside. All right. Hey, here's the belt I got, and uh, I'm happy with them. Uh, they're about 80 bucks a piece, uh, give or take a few dollars. You know, each company is different, and uh, this company had turquoise. Here's one I have opened up here. You know, one thing about turquoise, uh, Christ, there's a, a thousand different shades of turquoise. And they, they had a, another color there. Uh, I think they had uh, electric blue and, and light blue and stuff. And, and they probably would have matched my interior a little better. But, uh, you know, I went with the turquoise and I'm, I'm happy with it. And I, I even went with this, this retro look. This is the clamshell, which is what, what they would have had back then instead of you know, the, the push buttons or whatever, you know, and uh, you just lift up this clamshell and it disconnects. So uh, this is the piece that goes on the bottom, or, or I should say the inside. And all we got to do is uh, connect that, uh, that bolt there. But uh, they also, they, they, for another 50 bucks or so, a little more than 50, they sell a hardware kit, you know. And all it is is a big washer and an angle. They give you bolts and nuts. So you got the hardware kit. Then you would have had to buy this. There's, you got to buy two of these. The hardware kit was only 10 bucks. And then uh, this piece here, there's only one of these. They're just showing you two for dimensions there and everything. And then uh, it would have been four dollars to get a shoulder bolt. So you're talking uh, 35 dollars or so. Plus ten dollars shipping and then uh, tax and everything. You're talking about another fifty bucks, 
And uh, instead of buying a hardware kit, I figured I, I got to have all these uh, these parts laying around the shop. And even had a picture shot, had it installed, so that's pretty nice. But anyway, they're uh, showing uh, 7 16 bolts. And the hole on this is actually half inch. So let me show you. Here's a, here's a 7 16 bolt. And, you know, it's, it's not sloppy, but uh, there's room there. And a half inch actually fits in there. So that's a half inch bolt right there. So uh, I think I'm going to go with a half inch bolt because I got a bucket of washers here. And I found these round washers and they're a quarter inch thick. And the hole in there is a little bigger. That must, that must be a 9 sixteenths or something. But uh, I'm going to put a half inch bolt in there. And I think what I'm going to do. Here's a 7 16th nut, and here's a half inch nut, and you can see how much bigger they are. I think I'm going to weld a nut on the back of these, and then uh, that way it'll hold everything together. So, this is the way I'm going to put it in is actually stronger than what they say. Even, uh, let's see here, with the reinforcing plates, you see these? They got reinforcing plates. They're only going with uh, two and a half reinforcing plates, two and a half inch. And the ones I got are actually three inches wide. So I think to, to make this fit where I have to, I might have to cut a uh, quarter inch uh, piece right off of the top there. So uh, we'll have to do that. We'll make that fit. But uh, we're actually going to put them in stronger than uh, suggested or recommended. So that's where we're at. We'll. Uh, We'll grind these down, weld them nuts on, and for starters, we'll put this uh, this center belt in. All right, let's do some work. How you guys like the color? You got you like that uh, that turquoise? Like I say, it might look different outside. Let's take it out in the sun. Matter of fact, I never put it on the cedar or anything else. See, here's the the truck color here. And there's that. And then the interior. The interior is another another shade. And it's uh it'd be okay, right? But I think if I had gotten the, the light blue or something, it might have uh matched that a little better. But uh I'm not worried too much about it, you know. I mean it's gonna look good. Alright, let's go inside and do some work. Round the zinc off of that, make it easier to, to weld. Sometimes when you weld through the zinc, it doesn't uh, to be good at here. Let's try this again. Yeah, let me get you guys off of there. I'll take my helmet off first. Alright, remember I'm not a welder. I usually let a little dirt bike do my welding. But uh hold on, hold on. Alright. That's gonna be good enough for that. It's gonna hold that nut on, right? That's all we want. Alright, let me uh let me grind uh, let me do the rest of them and then uh we'll grind uh, a little bit off of the edge. All right, all right. Yeah, I trimmed that up and uh, I just uh, test fit it and uh, works good. I don't even think I don't even think it took a quarter inch off. Yeah, mm, three sixteenths quarter inch. Nothing. All right, 
let me uh, let me cut this one off and then uh, put them belts in. All right, got them bolted in. I had to get Road Queen out there to spin them for me. So I hold the nut on the bottom, but uh, that worked out well. Let me slide the seat back and see what it looked like. All right, yeah, they look pretty good. You can adjust them wherever you want. I got this one. I got this adjusted back a little bit, and. Uh, that one is uh, pretty much all the way forward, I think. Yeah. But you can adjust them wherever you want to go, so... Uh, we like it. We're liking it, so... Uh, Alright, let's... Uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything the rest of the day. I think I might go inside, take a break, but... Uh, maybe we'll come back tomorrow and... Uh, see where we can uh, adjust uh, or put them... Shoulder belts. Looks like yeah, there should be plenty of room here, right there. We still have to make, uh, you know what? I think I feel a hole right there. That would be nice. it will go right there. All right, and then, uh, hmm, we'll have to see. We'll have to see where we're gonna put that one, so. All right, maybe we'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, it's the next day and uh, I guess uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, make an angle bracket. You got a little angle bracket here that holds the shoulder harness and then you know, holds the bottom to the bottom of the truck there. So uh, you need a little angle iron there. And uh, I had this piece of uh, two inch stock laying around, two inch angle iron. It's uh, 3 sixteenths. And you know what? Everything, everything they have is eighth inch. So all the the gray here it's uh, eighth inch steel even on this retractor you know that's that's only uh, eighth inch there so everything I'm using is is either bigger and thicker I'm using half inch nuts and bolts and they use seven sixteenths so everything I'm using is, is stronger so I feel good about that even though it doesn't matter you know I mean we'll, it, it, you could put the strongest stuff you want on there but uh, if uh, everything they give you is only an eighth inch what difference does it make right so, all right, so we got the 3 16th angle iron, and we'll make these little things here. Let's see what we got here. That's uh, these little pieces right here. And then uh, the backing plate here, even the backing plate, there's this uh, inch and a quarter by three inches, and uh, I found some scrap. It's a quarter inch thick, which is a real overkill. And uh, I'll probably go, it's actually an inch and a half, so it's, it's wider and it's going to be longer. That's uh, about four and a half inches there. So I'm going to uh, drill it, weld the nut on the back of that, and that's going to hold the top of the, the shoulder uh, strap. So uh, let's do that. Let me put this in the machine, we'll cut this down. I guess we'll make, that, uh, make them about an uh, inch and a half, two inches, we'll see. All right. Let's do some work. Alright, yeah, I got these all cut and uh, marked out here. The other pieces on the bench. Uh, so let's uh, blow some holes on through there and then. Uh, I'll round the edges off on this and finish it off, and then uh, we'll send it out to, for paint. Oh yeah, a lot of you guys always ask me what this pen is. This uh, is a pencil. It's a, a Markel. It's never going to focus in for you, but uh, here you go, Markel uh, Silver Streak. You know, and uh, I like it better than soapstones because you, you really can't wipe it off. The soapstones. Uh, wipe off, wipe off easier, a lot easier, so uh, I'll leave a link in the description for you, it's good, it uh, marks on this uh, mill scale and rust and stuff like that, real nice. Alright, let me cut these and uh, round them off and uh, make them look like uh, something. Alright, yeah, here's something else I get asked a lot about, this uh, automatic center punch here, it's a, it's a pretty good one. Uh, made in Germany, Rheinsteg or something. I'll put a, a link in the description for you if I remember. Now let's, uh,
you can adjust it too, you know, as it depends on how deep you want to make that uh, center punch. It's got a nice, nice round thing on there so you don't, you don't uh, hurt your hand or nothing. Just, uh, I'll leave a link in the description for you if I remember. Alright, let's uh, drill some holes. Well, I keep my belts a little bit loose in case uh, it gets snagged. You know, that's a little safety feature. <clears throat> Should have used a smaller drill to do that, but uh, it's just one of them things. One of them things. Alright, here's the last one. A lot of you guys are probably saying put oil on there, but uh, this is, I'm not, not running a machine shop here, and you know, I probably used this drill a hundred times and uh, it's still sharp as the day it was bought. So I'd rather, I'd rather sharpen the drill and have oil and crud all over the garage all over the time. Because most of the time I'm doing body work and painting here, and uh, I don't like oil. I'll use oil if I'm going to tap something, but uh, not when I'm drilling, especially something like this. Alright, let's go. Last one. Oh, watch out for my arm. Let me see, I gotta turn it. I gotta I gotta get in your way, I gotta turn it on. See that that drill's never been sharpened before. Got nice curly cues coming out of both sides. Yeah, the rest of you guys can oil, oil everything you want, but, uh, you know, I prefer not to. Alright, so I cut the corners off of this uh, piece here. Looks pretty rough now, but uh, that's just so I don't have to take off so much on the sander. My, uh, I think I have to change the, the disc on my sander over there, so uh, this will just uh, make it a lot easier. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, round off these little titties, and then we'll uh, give it a nice... Uh, Nice spin in there and, and get the whole thing round. All right, we'll see you over the sander. All right, you got your hearing protection on. See that, uh, that disc is uh, seen better days. Look at the edges all cut off it and everything. So uh, we should be able to get these uh, two pieces out of it. All right, what I'm going to do is, uh, you probably won't see much on this side. I'm going to get over to this one. You'll see what we're going to do. I'm going to get the... We'll take a little titty down and then we'll spin the whole thing. Trying to get a nice continuous radius out of that. Alright, put your hand protection on.
Yeah, it came out pretty good. Now I'm, uh, I'll do the other side and uh, we'll see you over at the bench. Alright, here we got these cleaned up. I uh, knocked some scale off with the, the grinder. So uh, we're going to take these out and prime them and paint them. Probably paint them gray to match the carpet. Uh, and then uh, I used a different piece of steel for these and put a nut on the back. But I'm not going to paint these right now. That's why I can, I can go out there, we'll mess around with this and get this all fit. Well, this is uh, this is drying. So, all right, let me go do some painting. All right, yeah, I drilled a hole in the B post here, the B column, whatever you want to call it. And now I want to put that in there. And then I'm going to drill a, a small hole and put a and tap a little screw in here to hold that in place. So uh, I can't. I don't know if I can show you on this side. Well, let me go around the other side of the truck. Come on, follow me. I put the hole. It's, that's the only place I could have put it, you know. So it would go through the the B column and that other piece. So uh, it may look a little awkward, but uh, you know that's where it had to go. All right, let me uh, stick that plate in there and uh, drill a hole in there so we can uh, hold it in there, you know. So when we when we take that seatbelt out, you know that thing is held in place. All right, I got that plate bolted in there and I just started drilling a hole right here so I got it marked I can take it out now and we'll drill and tap that for a 1032 screw that'll hold everything in place when I uh, when I take that bolt out all right there's a little mark right there I'm gonna drill that with a number 21 bit and then uh, tap it with a 1032 thread all right we already started it We're using some tap magic here I think I always leave a link in the description for this stuff. It's good. I already put some on here, but uh, there we go. A little more wouldn't hurt, right? You gotta watch with these tiny taps because they're easy to break. You hear breaking the chip when you turn it back. There we go. We're through. There's my air gun. Watch your eyes. A screwdriver I'll be right back. Alright. I'm gonna use this uh this countersunk one, you know, with a taper top on it. Even though inside the cab isn't tapered, it, it's gonna go behind something. And uh, there we go. And I want this I want the flat head there. So it'll work, it'll work for what we need. So let's go outside and see what we can do with it. Alright, and it worked out good. So now let's see. I'm holding my left hand here. See what we did there? Right there. It's holding that in there. I didn't go nowhere that. Sorry about the lighting, but it uh, keeps taking exposure from the outside there. So now we can go get the, the piece and we'll see uh, we'll see what it looks like. Alright, I'll go away. Alright. We got it bolted up there. You can't see much. I'll go over the other side so you take a look. But uh, that's, uh, that's where it's going. That's uh, bolted on hard too. And this is uh, where this one goes down. I'm gonna put our little bracket right here, and that bottom piece will bolt to that, and then this will this will go down, and bolt to the floor, and then you you pull this out. I'm all tangled up here. And then you pull this out and wrap that around your shoulder. Let's go around the other side see what it looks like. Come on. Nice out here. It's I think it's the 17th of February and it's 68 degrees. Uh, 
I see what the problem was. I had it pointing back towards the back there. All right, it is a uh, this is a fabric that goes on over that black there and the headliner and stuff. The headliner comes all the way down there, so uh, it'll be okay. That's not where I would want to have that, but uh, you know that's the only place I could have gone that would have given it any kind of strength. You know, we'll see. We'll see if uh, there's something we could do, but uh, for now, that's where it's going to be. All right, let me put the other one. In. All right, it's been a few days now. I think today's uh, President's Day. It's a holiday. They got me, they got me working on a holiday here. Uh, but we, uh, we're back on a seatbelt here, and we uh, uninsulated a bracket. You're not going to be able to see much here, but I, I made a little L bracket here and uh, bolted this all up. You know, I didn't. There, there wasn't a whole lot of space to put it anywhere, but uh, I found a spot there. And uh, they're working pretty good. I pulled it too hard. It'll come all the way over to here, no problem. And then uh, recoil and straighten up. So, uh, got bad lighting here. I apologize for that, but it's just that time of day. So, all right. That side, like I said, this side is done. And uh, it's going to work fine. And the seat is where it should be. But uh, I, I run into a problem on the other side here. Come on around. Probably nothing, nothing too tough, but uh, we have a, a fuel line right here. And right there is where I put the, the bracket on the other side. So we'll see where we can mount it. You know, like I say, you don't have, you don't have much room. You got the, you got the, the seat uh, right here. And then the door, you know, so it's got it's got to go right there. But uh, I guess the fuel line could be moved if we have to, but I'd rather not. All right, let's go inside. I'll show you the, the bracket we made. All right, yeah, here's the bracket all painted up and uh, the washer with the nut welded on. And uh, the color matches the rug pretty good. But you see in there, you, you're not really going to see that. You know, you have that big black thing in the way. And then a seat belt, so uh, you're not really you're not even gonna see that bracket, but uh, it's gonna be there. All right, let me go over there and try and figure out what we're gonna do with the driver's side. All right, I think we figured out a solution, and it's it's not too bad. Let me turn the light on here. Oh, I think it was on. Here we go. All right, this is the side that's already done, and the gray bracket matches so well. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it. But right here is, is the edge of that bracket. And it's coming and it's touching right up against this aluminum uh, molding. And this bracket is right in line with this finishing screw. And I have back here, I have about a quarter inch because I got the bolt head back there. So let me show you what we're going to do on the other side. All right, we're over on the other side here. I don't have anything bolted in yet. I just have it sitting here. But uh, on the other side where I have a quarter inch, I think I'm going to wind up with about an inch. I'm going to be about an inch away from the back. And that'll give me about a quarter inch away from the, the fuel line there. You know, from, from the bolt and from the bracket. So that'll be okay. And down here, this is also going to be right in line with, the, with that uh, finishing screw. But looks like all I'm gonna have to do is is cut a little little tiny piece, maybe a, maybe about a quarter inch or so off of here, and uh, I think we'll be okay. You know, you're never gonna see both sides at once, so you know we're gonna be okay. All right, let me uh, mark that up and do some cutting. All right, yeah, it's the next day, and uh, I cut this on an angle right where I need it. I didn't, I didn't uh, swell or nothing go around the molding because it's, it's going to sink into the carpet and you're not going to see that straight edge. I did uh, paint it and uh, round off the edges and stuff and file it so it's uh, pretty good. You know, like I said, you're not going to see it anyway. But uh, let's take it out the truck and uh, mark it out and drill some holes. See, we'll see how it fits. We'll put the, the bracket on there, the spindle, whatever the hell that thing is. Man, it's beautiful out here today. It's about 72 degrees. February 23rd. It's crazy. 
crazy for the time of year. Right, let's see what we got here. All right, I'm gonna line it up with this screw here, and uh, that'll be good. That'll be perfect. So, uh, like I say, you're not gonna see that. So all I gotta do is uh, drill a hole. Uh, I, yeah, we didn't drill any holes yet, but uh, that's where that's gonna go. And it clears the seat and clears the door, clears everything. So uh, let's mark it out and do some drilling. All right. Yeah, it's the next day, and uh, I got these all drilled and uh, bolted in and everything. So uh, they're not going anywhere. And I even got it adjusted to uh, my waist and stuff. So let's go take a look at the other side and uh, put this one in a can, huh? And it's solid too, and that works. See, you pull on it hard, it gets stuck. You pull on it easy, it moves. That keeps it from going through the windshield. So, all right, we're gonna call this one good. So, what do you guys say? Not for this. All right, see you in the next one.